everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a weekly vlog. Now I am being a little bit naughty and I'm starting this on a Sunday. I really want them to run from Monday to Sunday but um, I'm sat down today and I think it's a good time just to start the vlog. Um, when you're kind of like midweek and you decide you're going to do this it's a little bit difficult. Um, so, so far this weekend, um, yesterday, Saturday, I had a really good reading weekend. Um, I finished two books yesterday which puts me on a total of three so far this month which for the, what's the date today? Uh, 10th, for the 10th of the month I'm really pleased with. I work a full-time job so um, I don't get to read as much as I probably would like to. So I thought that I would just talk you through what I've already finished this weekend, what I plan on doing for the rest of my day today and what I plan on picking up next for my reading. So the first book I finished was um, the second Virgin River book, uh, Shelter Mountain by Robin Carr. Um, I had, I think, when I got up yesterday, I think I had about 11%, 12% left of it to read. Um, I was listening to it on audio and I was reading it physically uh, along at the same time. I had it for my commutes, but I liked, I like on my lunch, if I haven't got anything else that I'm reading physically, on my lunch breaks, I like to have I can't just listen, I have to have it to read along with as well. Uh, I was very kindly gifted uh, the audio, uh, the Kindle um, ebook by my friend Daisy. Um, so I liked that I had that to read along with as well. And um, I like, I quite like doing that, listening and reading along. So really enjoying the Virgin River series. Really interesting how much it's differing from the TV show. Uh, a friend of mine got me watching the TV show a couple of them were talking about it so I started watching the tv show and then um the first book went I think into a 99p kindle deal or something so I picked that up and I loved it um and loved how different it was and now finished the second one I'm kind of like I want to read the third one straight away but <laughs> I'm reining it in I've got a lot of other books on my tbr that I need to read first so the next book I finished uh, yesterday was In an Absent Dream by Shauna Maguire. Um, this I think is the fourth book. One, two, three. Yeah, the fourth book in the Wayward Children series. This book um, follows Lundy, um, who is a character that's present right from the beginning of the series. This series is very strange. So this series works in a kind of non-linear format um, where each instalment is kind of based around a different character and the timeline kind of jumps around a little bit. This is like someone's origin story, this is where they've come from, the experience they had going through the doorways. So for anyone that doesn't know, the Wayward Children series is about um, a school um, for Wayward Children and basically Wayward Children are children that throughout their childhood they go through a doorway to another world a portal world which are very very different all very very different and all very strange and not like the world as we know it these children often come back through doorways to the world as we know it and really struggle to rehabilitate and want to find their doorway again and be able to go back a lot of them um so the headmistress what's her name i can't remember eleanor west um she has created this school for children that um children that have gone through doorways and come back and want to get back where they're going so this was a really interesting um sort of snippet onto the um onto the story um and onto the kind of world as a whole really really interesting but they're so short these books and I'm I'm not sure how I feel about them. I haven't um put this through Core Pile yet, which is a book roasts um I think it's book roasts um reviewing system where you you rate each um each different section, character, plot, everything like that. You um you rate it all out of ten and then it gives you a, a rating out of five, a five star rating. So I haven't put it through core pile yet because I wanted to let it sit. I'm going to do that in a minute and see what I feel that really comes out this star wise. It's probably a three, but I, it's just there's bits of that that I would really love to have read more about. There's bits that were missed, um, and I know that it was missed for a reason. But you kind of, I'm the I'm the lover of. Um, I love the all the detail and the how that happened and why that happened and I like that bit and I think it could have been a lot more fast paced if we had some of those bits in but there we go. 
So the next book um, I'm going to pick up is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Uh, this has been on my radar for a while because um, Becca and Ashley follow through Friction um, and everyone has been doing the Elder Lingalong, which is a read-along reading um, Robin Hobb's works from um the realm of the end elderlings and this is the first place to this is the first book the first place to start assassin's apprentice um this is the farseer trilogy i believe it's called um i have yeah the farseer trilogy i have heard so many good things about robin hobbs writing about these uh about this book about the series and um i was very kindly gifted this uh through a book exchange um that I was part of over Christmas that uh, what Victoria Red um, organised and this was very kindly gifted to me by Amelia Allison. We did a Secret Santa. It was really, really fun and it was on my wish list and uh, she picked it up off of there. So I'm really intrigued to get started with this, see how it goes, see what I think of it. And um, it's been a little while since I've had something probably this fantasy -y. So do you like my word there? Fantasy. -y. <laughs> um, so I intend to get cracking on this this morning um, and get a chunk of this read if I can uh, and see how I get on with it. Um, I do also want to get a workout in today. Um, I did a 40 minute workout yesterday and I feel like I need something just a little bit less, uh, <laughs> a little bit less intense today. But I do want to get moving again today and do another workout over Christmas and the new year. Um, I have been really, really bad. I ha can't remember the last time I worked out and I worked out for the first time in ages yesterday. Um, I also had um, COVID over Christmas. Um, I'm okay. I had very minor symptoms and I'm really, really grateful for the fact that I had such minor symptoms, but um, it kind of left me feeling quite lethargic and quite tired and exhausted really. Um, and last week was my first week back at work. Um, the first full week in January was my first week back at work. Um, and it would have been for a lot of people anyway that had time off over Christmas and New Year, but I didn't have any time booked. I just had the normal time, the bank holidays and stuff uh, due off. But I unfortunately did test positive for COVID and um, that's a completely different story. Um, but uh, I, want to, I wanted to get back into my fitness. I was really surprised I got on the scales on the 1st of January and I'd actually lost... Um, roughly a pound since I'd last weighed in September which I was absolutely amazed by could not believe it um, I thought I'd gained weight again and I was really kind of feeling despondent about that but I got back on the scales actually lost a pound since I last weighed in September so um, I was like, right, let's crack on with getting some workouts in. Let's get active. Um, I'm so inactive at work. I sit behind a desk for most of the day. I'm not very active and um, I want to get into a routine before we move of working out regularly so that hopefully that slots in when we move and hopefully it will be easier as well when we move and we've got our own place. So yeah, that's going to be my weekend and I'm just going to roll this into the whole of next week and kind of update you as my days go. Some days might be very little or nothing to film and really write home about. But I also need to decide what I'm going to listen to audiobook wise, whether I pick up the next Virgin River book on audio and just have it on audio and listen to that on the car in the car on the way to work and home. Or if I should delve into, I've got Game of Thrones on the go on audio and I'm probably about halfway through it. And whether I should just pick that back up and keep going with that or whether that will be too much alongside this, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I hopefully have a good productive day. So I have just done my 25 minute HIIT workout. Uh, so I might be looking a little bit uh, dishevelled. Um, I use um, videos on YouTube for the most of my workouts and I've been really enjoying MK Fit. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel down below. She does this amazing um, HIIT workouts, which are like dance workout, HIIT workouts. They're amazing. They're so much fun. No bumpy, no burpees, no planks, uh, no push-ups or sit-ups or anything like that. They're all really, really fun. And she does themed ones, themed videos, um, which is just so much fun. So I'm just sat, I have got into bed. Um, because of the living situation, we do mostly live in our bedroom. Um, we live with my parents at the moment, um, 
but tend to when I'm off work I tend to spend most of my time in my bedroom so that means I sit in my bed um so I am just bringing up my reading journal and my book review journal um just bringing those up to date with the two books I finished yesterday um Shelter Mountain and In an Absent Dream and I'm just with my uh, my diary my planner just kind of scheduling um next week uh scheduling kind of video ideas and workouts and things like that so just having a bit of some admin i still haven't picked up my book um sorry if the camera's a bit shaking my arm's a bit dead from my workout um but i haven't picked up my book yet but i think i might grab myself some lunch because i've been really naughty not eating anything yet today that's a lie I did have some Terry's chocolate orange um but then I think I'll have something to eat and come back and sit and get comfy and read some of this and get started on it so that's my Sunday so far productive I'm really pleased I filmed a couple of videos I've done my workout and yeah feeling like it's productive so far I'll check in with you a bit later good morning so it's now Monday morning I have just got to work excuse this <laughs> this is what I look like for work um so yesterday I did manage to make a start on Assassin's Apprentice I think I got about uh 18 20 pages in I just read the first chapter and this morning I picked up um the audiobook um it's called A Village Scandal by Dilly Court um it's the second book in a series that I started in December so I thought I'd just pick that up on Audible uh, that should probably take me the week to listen to and uh, I thought that would be another book to get off my TBR so I'm just going to head into work now and see what the day brings so I'm back in my favourite spot. Um, it is uh, just coming up to eight o'clock and I come in from work. I've showered. I've had my dinner. I've got some pudding. I've got um, pancakes, a couple of uh, frozen pancakes. If you haven't tried them before, birds I do frozen pancakes and you just pop them in the toaster. And they're really nice. They're really eat like good thing just to have in the freezer, um, just to fall back on. Um, and I just fancied a little bit something extra after my dinner. I'm trying to be really good with my eating, but I just fancied something a little bit extra. I've been really good today, so obviously now I'm not being good because I'm having something for pudding. But I thought I'd update you on my reading progress. So I read some of Assassin's Apprentice on my lunch break and I've just sat down and read before dinner probably another 10 pages. I'm now on page uh, 49. Uh, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, I don't think I've mentioned what this is about but this is about a world, uh, a fantasy world um, and so far we have met the character Fit who seems to be retelling the story to uh, the reader um, about who he is, where he comes from and he is a bastard son of a, a prince in waiting to be the king of the six duchies. Um, his father, um, the prince, abdicated and it's kind of the fallout of what then is going to happen to him. So um, it's early days yet obviously in it but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the world, I'm enjoying the world building and yeah really enjoying it and um like i said this morning i've started the audiobook for dilly court's uh, a village scandal which is the second book in a trilogy and i have managed to make um 63 pages progress in this uh, just on my commute today and it's got i think at the speed i'm listening i've got just over five hours left um so i'm really pleased at how much progress i've made in that today if i can make 60 pages progress on that every day then that would be really good um this series is about a girl called daisy and she comes to essex which at the time is not as developed as it is now i think it's set in the 18 let me uh, 1869 this one set um she comes to Essex uh in the first book with her aunt and uncle who are moving out of the city and it's basically just about how she um how she lives in the village and and how she kind of gets on in the village and this second one um I think it's going to be quite an interesting one so I'm sat down now like I mentioned yesterday um we do spend a, most of our spare time free time in our bedroom so I'm sat down now I'm gonna read a bit more of Assassin's Apprentice I wanted to at least try and get to the end of the chapter because I hate leaving it mid-chapter how many pages have I got until the end of the chapter 
uh, 12 so I'll probably make sure I get to the end of the chapter of this and then um, might put some YouTube on catch up on catch up on watching some of um, some YouTube Hello, good evening. So you hopefully would have just seen some little clips of my lunch. Excuse the face mask and the <laughs> vaping stuff. You can just tell um, this is just a new thing. Face masks just get everywhere. And when we were um, self-isolating, when I tested positive, um, we were wearing face masks every time we left um, our room. So that's why they're just hanging off the bed. So excuse that. That's, this is just my life at the minute, uh, living in a bit of chaos. Uh, so yeah, you should have seen some clips of uh, me having my mac and cheese on toast at lunchtime, double carbs, really naughty, but so, so tasty. And then um, getting some reading in. So yesterday evening, I said, oh, I was going to try and read um, to the end of the chapter in Assassin's Apprentice which I didn't actually manage to do yesterday evening, uh, but I did that today on my lunch break. So I probably read about uh, 12 pages, I think it was, um, on my lunch break today. Um, I'm finding it um, a little bit of a slower read because it's a fantasy. So um, certain books I'd get through a lot more than just... Um, 12 pages on my lunch break but because I was eating something that I had to eat with a knife and fork um rather than just one-handed which I normally eat um I didn't actually read for my whole lunch break so I potentially would have made more progress with this today if um I'd had something that was one-handed but um it really enjoying this so I'm now up to uh the beginning of chapter four and I'm hoping to get a little bit of reading in this evening um it's it's just gone six o'clock um it's coming up to half past six I'm home. I haven't had my dinner yet, but I just thought I'd get in. I'm being really naughty and not doing a workout. I've had a headache all day, just haven't been able to shift. And I just think if I was to do a workout, I probably would just make myself feel worse. So I'm just having gonna have another rest day today. I had a rest day yesterday. I'm gonna have another rest day today um, and then see how I feel tomorrow. Um, but with my audiobook, I've been listening to The Village Scandal by Dilly Court, and um, I've got up to page 138 on this. So the progress for this in two days has been really good. And it says I've only got, I think, about four and a half hours left with how quickly I'm listening to it. So um, enjoying it. I'm not sure. The first book in the series. I wasn't sure on but I already had the whole trilogy and I would I was still intrigued to see where the trilogy goes I'm that sort of person I can never let anything go <laughs> and I like to see something through so I don't know if it's just because I'm listening to it audibly but so far it doesn't feel quite as there was elements of the first one that I thought was a little bit some of the comments were immature and some of it I was like I don't think this is in keeping with the time period but that's not as prevalent listening to it I think because it's spoken rather than me does that make sense anyway so I'm making good progress through this and um there's a stuff going on which makes me cross but that's to do with the characters and what they're doing so yeah I think I'm gonna we've got burgers for dinner tonight which again is not very good but I've been good like I've been good with my eating, so I think I'm allowed a couple of naughtier bits. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're going to get some more of Assassin's Apprentice read. And um, yeah, there's no real other updates, to be honest. I've spoken to my financial advisor today via email because uh, I need to arrange having our life cover, our life insurance set up. So uh, obviously I can't go in and see him because we're in lockdown, but we, I've arranged a Skype call for next week um, to sort out our life cover. And um, I've emailed the solicitor to chase them because we're waiting on inquiries back from the other side. Um, but I haven't heard anything back from her. I emailed her too late, to be fair. So no a house updates, unfortunately. Moving in January is just not going to happen now. Um, but hopefully February. Hopefully February will be it. And uh, yeah, this is just the frustrating bit where you're... Well, the whole the whole process is frustrating, to be honest, because you're, you're constantly just waiting on other people and... Yeah, it's all a little bit annoying. But anyway, um, what do I think is going to happen for the rest of the week? Um, I'm hoping... 
I really, really hope by the end of the weekend I can have both of these done. I think that's feasible. I think definitely finishing this. If I get to a point where I'm close, I'll probably end up reading it um, as following along and listening at the same time. Does that make sense? Like reading it physically and having the audiobook, uh, listen to the audiobook at the same time. Because I would quite like to read, finish this this week. And I would like to finish this this week i keep forgetting what day it is it's only tuesday isn't it so yeah i would like to if i can finish both but at least finish one of them and if i'm going to finish any i think it will be the audio one because that's just i'm reading that a bit quicker but um i'm just really enjoying this world i've already put the second book on my wish list and yeah loving it so i've not got anything else planned for the rest of the week um that i can think of the top of my head that's coming up my other half's weekends have changed how he's how he's got his days off so he'll be off on sunday no he'll be off on saturday working sunday which he doesn't normally do so i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do on saturday yet but we're in a lockdown not a lot we can do so i'll probably just do a lot of reading and sunday will probably just be a very chill day for me at home reading and hopefully finishing some books but yeah there's not a lot else really to talk about work's work and covid still still going on it's a bit it's getting a bit much now i'll be honest i'm starting to really even though i've had it and um i'm probably safer than some other people it's still really getting me down and still really really scary um but I'm not going to dwell on that because I don't want to make this a negative space. But yeah, let's see how I get on later. I might not do an update later on in the evening, but I'll definitely try and update you if I can in the morning and let you know what, I've, what reading I've done this evening. So <laughs> I've been a really bad vlogger and I'm really sorry. It's Monday today. I think my last clip I filmed was on Tuesday of last week. I don't really know what happened but what I will do is I will just update you on the reading that I did over the weekend um, and round out this weekly vlog here, chalk it up to experience and let's do something different next week. Let's get more filmed next week. So I, I was reading, I think when I last spoke with you, I was reading, listening to the audiobook of A Village Scandal by Dilly Court. I was listening to this on my commute in and out of work and I was physically reading Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Um, now, I managed to finish both over the weekend. Um, what I did was on, was it Friday or Saturday? I think it was maybe Friday. I actually um, sat down with this physically. I think I had a little bit of time left on it and I thought if I just sit down and physically, physically read it as well as... Um, audio, book, audio book listening to it I've not got long left I'll finish it and um, I did I finished this on Friday evening I'm sure it was Friday um, I enjoyed this installment I enjoyed it more than the first installment I'm not quite sure how much of that was because I was listening to it on audiobook um, I'm not quite sure but I did enjoy it more um, it was a little bit was a little bit dramery I think I think I rated this three stars once it went through core pile. Uh, it was a bit dramery at times, it was a bit like seriously, but I did enjoy it. I'm not going to give you a full review because it's second in a series uh, in the trilogy. So yeah, but I did finish this. And then what I did um, tail end of the week last week was I actually managed to pick up the audiobook for Assassin's Apprentice. Uh, through my library Libby app and that was really helpful because it meant that I could um, listen as well as read and not use up an audible credit and I was finding it just a little bit of a slow paced slow moving book and I was struggling to read it on my lunch break I was struggling to find the time to read it of an, af of an afternoon evening when I got home from work because there was too much going on around me um, so I actually downloaded the audio book from my Libby app, like I said, through my library. And it was really good. It meant that I could kind of disengage from whatever was going on around me. Um, and it was that really helped me get this read. So on Saturday, I was here when I, when I woke up Saturday morning 
um, I was here. And what I decided to do was I split the remaining pages into two. So I had pages to read for Saturday, 130, I think, 33 or something it was, for each day. And that was really also good to have that bookmark in there to split it because I could see how well I was doing throughout the day. And we had a really, really lazy weekend. My other half was poorly. He's had some like horrible coldy thing. And um, again, I've just spent most of the day reading, read my 133 pages um, and I read slightly over on Saturday, but not massively over. And then on Sunday, I picked it up and I read the rest. Really enjoyed this first instalment in the Farsi trilogy and the first book I've read by Robin Hobb. Really, really interesting to see it unfold and see the, the characters grow. I'm so, so interested to read further on through this series. I still need to watch the um, the live show that Becca and the Books did um, however long ago now, um, when loads of booktubers all got together for the Elderling Along and they're all reading the um, Realm of the Elderlings. I still need to watch the live show for this book, but I'm excited to see what others thought of it as well. And yeah, so that was my week's reading. So myself and my best friend Daisy, we run an online book club on Facebook called the Daisy and Bee Book Club. And it's a bit of a special book club because we don't pick a selected like book every month and not everyone has to read the same book. We have a theme. Um, so for instance, December's theme was, what was December's theme? December's theme was happiness, read a book that makes you feel happy um, because we thought like that would be good for the festive period and we did have a set book that we all or several people joined in and read along with as well we are intending to do that at certain points throughout the year have like a sort of set book but that's set by multiple people choosing which book um but yeah the rest of the time we have themes so for january we decided to not have a theme but have a challenge instead to kickstart everyone's goodreads goals and kickstart everyone's reading challenges and we initially challenged our book club to read 100 books collectively uh, but we have done so, so well. And I think as of today, so this is Monday the 18th that I'm rounding off this vlog. Um, I think we've read over 140 books already. We managed, we ended up upping it to 200. So I'm just trying to get as many reads in that I can now for the month. Um, and yeah, so looking forward to... Um, the months to come with the book club and go and check it out on Facebook. I'll leave it linked down below, but go and check it out on Facebook if you haven't already. And um, it'd be lovely for you to join and join in with our online book club. But that is it for this week's weekly vlog. Sorry, it's been so sparse in places. I need to get back into the habit of vlogging and that's the issue. And the issue is as well, when I get when I finish work at the end of the day, perfect time to, to film, um, it's pitch black in my car. My car's a perfect spot for me to vlog in before I've got home, no distractions, and it's pitch black. Um, so I think that is the problem and I'm not leaving enough time in the mornings to film a clip. So next week is going to be a different week and sorry that this week was... A bit of a naff start but it's a start you can only get better from here right <laughs> anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video